One of the several things that may shock you when you come to a small city like this is the uh, amount of uh, this mini electric cars. You don't find it uh, in big cities in China, but in small cities, we got a lot of this. See this? You don't have a license to drive this? I'm a little bit surprised to see the prevalence. Look at that car. All the uh, ubiquity of these cars. Only. In small places, you don't have a you know strong enforcement of the law. You have a car like this. Also, you have a lot of electric cars. It's regular one. Look at that one. Look how small that car is. Compared with just a regular sized city. Look at this. Look at this cross. Very chaotic. The good thing about uh, this uh, illegal electric car is that uh, they don't go very f uh, fast, so it's not that dangerous. But also, you know, since you can't go very far fast, you are, you know, obstructing other cars from like surpassing you. Right now, the time is about five. You can see a lot of cars. Like, they can. Basically, it's just a it's just a large large version of a car like this. They have big and more batteries. This is like a typical uh, new energy car. We call it or DNGO electric car. You don't have a, you don't have to have a license to drive it. You don't need a plate, you know, this car doesn't have a plate, but you can't drive it uh, you know, on the uh, highway or national route. You can only drive like uh, in small places like a uh, local county. It has uh, the feature of uh, just a regular car. I can show you. It's a little bit dirty. And all the things a car has should have a steering wheel, blinker. It doesn't have an air conditioner. This is a, like emergency to show you the emergency. You have a radio, just a three, uh, three gears, reverse, neutral, drive. It can go. As far as 100 kilometers, if it's new, but right now, this car could go 50 kilometers. You see this? You know, but uh, if if it, if it is, if it was uh, in the uh, large city, the traffic police will stop. But because this is a small area, a small town, a small county. So you don't have to worry about the police stopping you. And uh, since it's electric car, it has a, a charging port. Where is it? It takes about uh, eight hours to charge from zero. I see a lot of this brand, Lady Ready. Let me ask how much it is. 你这个车一开始卖多少钱？两万五六。两万五六。现在大概能卖多少钱？现在啊，新车二十。就这个车？就这个车，不一万块钱吗？啊，它七六六两三千。嗯，OK。So this car, the original price is like a twenty-five, twenty-six thousand Chinese yuan, but now. You can only sell like 10k yuan after two or three years. But it's convenient, and you, especially you know, considering how hard it is to get a um, to 
pass the driving test in China, a lot of people they just uh, buy cars like this, and also it's cheap. And yes, it's cheap. It's not everybody can afford um, smart, pen smart, or even Volkswagen. So thanks for watching. I'm out.